Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, quite a bit happening around the world today. Quite a bit. <clears throat> My intent is to get through this quickly. <clears throat> we'll see. Lord willing. A lot going on around the world. Quite a, <clears throat> quite a bit. Just the screen. Okay, that's a little better. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. I'll give it a few more seconds. Lesson is being shadow banned. Well, that's okay, though. To it. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. <clears throat> there, shallow arm, shallow arm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Shallow arm. Barack Thanya Howard. Barack Thanya Howard shot. Barack Thanya Howard. Barack Thanya Howard shot. Bahalaimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Urquakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. Keep your eye single. And that starts first and foremost with me. <coughs> to keep my eye single as well. Lord willing, or I don't want to wrap this out. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So, there's so many distractions going on right now. There's a famous quote. I believe it was Donovan McNabb. He said, when you're in the field or on the field, learn how to block out the crowd noise. Learn how to block out the crowd noise. There's many that are being moved by the reactions or the response of men. They want to be seen by men. They come in on horses. They got women worshiping them when they enter the room. Other men's wives waving them in. You see, probably need their underwear change after you walk in. That's off. First of all, the Bible says, let your woman learn in silence. And if she should learn anything, let her ask her husband at home. So the Lord is getting ready to delete or unalive a lot of fake press, fake pastors out here, fake men of the Lord. 
<laughs> running into the room like you're entering into an MMA wrestling match. So the spiritual demon, Satan, is moving his minions to keep us distracted. You got the Francis Scott Keybridge event going on. The Francis Scott Keybridge, where they're looking for bodies. That's, that's absorbing most of the airwaves. You got Puff Daddy Combs. He is a lesser light. He's red in. He's had his back beat out by the wicked global elite. So this man has already been broken down and has raised his right arm in an oath of an agreement to Satan. And then that, have you ever been swallowed event with TV snakes? So all of these events <laughs> are used to keep our eye diverted. And that eye is connected to our lob or heart or mind. To keep our mind meditating on Bible prophecy. Then all of a sudden, Russia, we know the true Israelites are so-called black. You've known this for centuries. So all of a sudden, when a big event is getting ready to go down, a major catastrophe or a major false flag, guess what? We know the Israelites are dark-skinned. You've always known that. We're going to open the vault so that you can explore these dark medieval paintings when it conveniently suits you and your timing. What's happening right now, real time? I'm going to show you. Then you got the uh, Red Sea event. Russia is moving some of their naval assets into the Red Sea. So we got a lot of moving pieces going on. All the, you got many women in New York being punched in the face. The subway incident. They want to put digital devices or digital scanning devices in these subways. So it conveniently happens, the subway shooting, when they're planning to put digital surveillance devices in the damn subways. So now we conveniently have a video going viral of a subway shooting or lack of subway security. Everything is based on security, peace, safety, in which to proceed the execution of these new devices or these new government laws. So we're being distracted by the left hand when really a major right hand of judgment is getting ready to ensue. The left hand jabs are setting us up to be knocked out by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so the Russian Scott Key Bridge, that event, Puff Daddy Sean Combs, He's always been a ninja, a black ninja that bowed down with his backside to the elite. He's always been that way. He's sworn an oath to Satan. Then the women in New York being punched in the face. Are you kidding me? You know how many people are being assaulted every day? Then you got the uh, subway shooting in New York. Something big is getting ready to break out in New York. Something big. <clears throat> then you got Russia. All of a sudden, we know the chosen people are black. We're going to open up our secret vaults. I almost said something. <clears throat> These people are not our friends. And then the Russian naval assets moving into the Red Sea. So what is the big event that's really going down? Drum roll. <clears throat> What is the big event that's really going down? So there's an international global monetary reset. The BRICS nations are spearheading this effort. 
Brazil, Russia, India, China, and, and, and South Africa. <clears throat> Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are spearheading the SWIFT system. What is the SWIFT system? It's a global monetary structure that's being built. So this current monetary system must be broken down, reshaped and retooled, re-architectured. What does SWIFT stand for? Society for Worldwide and Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Communications Transfer, SWIFT, or Telecommunications. Yeah, let me read that again. This new SWIFT system, all roads lead to the MOTB, or the digital device, a global reset. <clears throat> Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. So the entire monetary system is getting ready to be broken down and restructured, reset, retooled. <clears throat> So every commander has what's called a coup d'oeil, coup d'oeil, and I'm going to put that in a description box in a moment. Let's put that in the description box. Coup d'oeil, what is that? Let me go ahead and drop it in the uh, description box. Well, in the chat, excuse me. Every commander has this. Yeah, they're going to shut down wire transfers and ATM withdrawals. That's going to be shut down. Everything is going to be frozen. Frozen assets where you cannot move money. You cannot draw money. So the central bank digital currency is being established under the global umbrella of SWIFT, which is Society for World Bank Inter, excuse me, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. So <clears throat> the profits must have a commander's insight, which is also called an ego's eye to see the battlefield, what's important, what's not, to be able to see beyond the smoke. The commander must be disciplined like a snake or a wise serpent because you're only given one opportunity to get it right, one truth, one doctrine, so your strike must be precise, a lethal blow with precision, accuracy, truth. Let me read about this um, coup d'oeil. The coup d'oeil is a French pronunciation, a term taken from the French language that more or less corresponds to the words a glimpse or a glance. So we use the term a glimpse into the future. So the prophets must be able to see beyond the confusion. Puff Daddy, women punched in the face in New York. What else? The damn bridge uh, uh, collapse, the bridge attack. A commander must be able to see beyond the confusion, the smoke, the chaos the screams, the blood, the bodies, and keep our eye single. Coup d'oeil is a term taken from the French that more or less corresponds to the words glimpse or a glance. 
The literal meaning is stroke of the eye. What's important? What's not? Are we going to be distracted by women punched in the face in New York? The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsing or being attacked. Russian icons. Oh, the Israelites are black. We've known it for a hundred years or more. But we're going to go ahead and open the vault now. I almost said something. I had to catch myself. Russian icons, the Red Sea, Puff Daddy Sean Combs with TV snakes. Have you ever been swallowed? Nothing but distractions <clears throat> to be caught up in, to be entrapped and snared. Yeah, this is a good one right here. This is a good one. <clears throat> Brother Gabar Ayash serving Yahawashai. 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So we get entrapped or ensnared first in our mind. Our mind or our eye. That eye is connected to our mind or heart, lob. So we can get snared or diverted deviated from the beaten path or the straight and narrow path by distractions. Who gives a damn about Sean Puff Daddy Combs? Who cares? Women punched in the face in New York. Every day somebody gets punched in the face. But the global economic monetary restructuring, retooling, and design is what's to focus on because it's connected to Bible prophecy. This is why simps can't be men of the Lord. Hey, yo, man, that's a female. You simps are going to die here in the daughter of Babylon. Okay? <clears throat> Our nation rides on strong men emerging and being unmovable, unshakable in the doctrine and the will of the Heavenly Father. Recently, Donald Trump we need legions to stand up for us, to help us. We need legions. Yeah, that's another distraction. The third temple, looking for a red heifer to sacrifice for the third temple. The third temple are the elect of the house of Israel waking up in the last days, looking for a red cow. Have you lost your damn mind? So we're supposed to get distracted by minuscule things. A commander has an eagle's eye or coup d'oeil. Let's read more about coup d'oeil. <clears throat> it is used mostly in English in the military. The coup d'oeil refers to the ability of a commander to discern at a glance the tactical advantages and disadvantages of the terrain. So the new key terrain is the cyber domain. Whoever controls cyberspace is going to be able to shut down an enemy's inter intercommunications network. All missiles are connected to command and control and the computer grid your aircraft, your global positioning system, your navigation, your ability to fly, your ability to shoot and direct and guide missiles. So you, ought to be able, you have to be able to shut down an adversary's key terrain or domain, cyberspace, and safeguard your own so that you can shoot, move, and communicate aircraft, global positioning system, your vehicles are on the grid, your water system, your resupply, and your, your logistics is connected to the grid. <clears throat> the advantages and disadvantages of, it's called supply chain. That's the term I was thinking about. Your supply chain 
is all on the grid. Resupply and your supply levels. For example, King Frederick the Great of Prussia in his military instruction from the late King of Prussia to his generals, he devotes special attention to the military coup d'oeil, defining it as the following, the perfection of that art to learn at one just and determined view the benefits and disadvantages of a country where posts are to be placed and how to act upon the annoyance of the enemy. This is, in a single word, the true meaning of coup d'oeil, without which an officer may commit error of the greatest consequence. So a commander must know when to commit his forces and resources, when and where to resupply, when to commit his reserve or backup reinforcement, because if he is wrong, it's lethal, it's fatal because all of his forces or resupply can be wiped out in one blow. So when wise serpent studies, meditates on the doctrine day and night and understands that there's one opportunity to get it right. And I'm speaking in dark sands when it comes to this doctrine. And then getting back to Donald Trump talking about we need legions to stand up behind us. So the high level global elite are praying demonic energy and left hand side spirits. There's about five to seven thousand soldiers in a Roman legion. So everything is leading to the implementation of the Mot B or Sighip. <clears throat> and what else? My voice is really effed up tonight. The major clash between Michael and his angels and the devil or Satan and his angels. Armageddon followed by the return of our Lord in Harashai. So the battle axe or the tabernacle of David is going to be raised up against Edom. So the two brothers, the twin brothers, if you will, is going to come to a clash, the left against the right. But what's going to set it off? The mandatory implementation of the sea hip, which is going to be preceded with a major catastrophic event, a direct energy weapon, a improvised explosive device, a electromagnetic pulse weapon or EMP to set it off, and then a national emergency declared. So Jacob and Esau are going to clash and the Lord is going to open up the fourth dimension where the 144,000 segment is going to join a 144 on the earth here. So they're going to combine and fight against the dragon. So the tabernacle of David is going to be the battle axe led by Yahabashai, our Lord, to take down the dragon or Edom, Esau. <coughs> a culminating event. Yep, Brother Gabar Ayash, Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So we're supposed to be looking through the lens of what? The oracles. What's that? Bible prophecy. Or we're, or we're heathen, we're non-believers. And the Lord is going to kill you. He's going to kill you. And if you're exalting yourself, 
riding in on a horse, women worshiping you. Most of them got husbands, but they're wet in the pants behind you, exalting yourself. Uh, okay, above Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So we're supposed to be looking through the oracles, the lens of prophetic events, the spirit of Yahweh Shai. The Lord is going to kill a lot of people. A lot of people. Yep. Brother Ken Provis. <clears throat> Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So the Lord is going to unleash left-hand side spirits to trap and ensnare the unbelievers, the unfaithful, the bug outs, the proud, the haughty, <clears throat> those that are not sincere, the rebels. The Lord is going to create a ma major catastrophic event, a direct energy weapon explosion, like what was used in Hawaii. Okay, a major heart attack or heart device, hurricanes, tornadoes, and fiery tempests that's going to be stirred up by a direct energy weapon. I had a vision of a tempest, appeared to be a tornado with fire and debris and all types of fly flying projectiles and debris mixed with fire that was just sweeping throughout the cities, destroying people, homes, land, businesses, everything in its path. It was just destroying everything. And these are spirits doing this. Somebody post Psalm 78, 48 and 49. And let's get that too in um, Psalms 83. Persecute them without tempest. Persecute them with thy tempest. That's in Psalms 83. I'm getting ready to close this out. <clears throat> so the Lord is creating good and evil. What is the good? The good news. What is the good news? The doctrine of deliverance and salvation for his elect, the believers. But all simps, witches, warlocks, rebels, murderers, idolaters are going to be destroyed by fire. <clears throat> this is what I saw in the vision. It appeared to be a tornado with fire and debris and projectiles mixed in it. And it was killing people as it moved throughout the city. <clears throat> I saw this. GMS must endure. Psalms 83 and 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. I saw this. A tornado mixed with fire, debris, projectiles. Remember, in a hurricane or tornado, usually what kills you are the projectiles and the flying debris. Or you get picked up and slammed against something or lifted up and dropped from the sky. They show that in the movie Brightburn, where he picked up his mother at the, towards the end of the movie and dropped her. So angels are going to do this. Angels. <coughs> Let's read about that. Brother Gabar Ayash. Psalm 78 and 48. Psalm 78 and 48. He gave up their cattle also to the hell and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. So landscape is going to be ripped up and destroyed. Cattle, buildings, homes, businesses. 
he casts upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. See, there's a certain, there's several videos you can pull up where a so-called UFO or angel is in the midst of a tornado or a hurricane. Angels do this and stir up death, destruction. So we should be, we should be focused on the prize, which starts with prophecy, looking through the lens or the oracles, which is a, the eye is a gateway of our mind, our temple. So understanding the prophecies, the visions, what do they mean? Interpreting the visions. To hell with Sean Puff Daddy Combs and TV Snakes. Talking about some damn swallowed. The Lord is going to do a lot of killing. And there's a popular Negro that likes to sit on a high horse and ride in and get worshipped. The Lord is going to kill him. No need to mention any names. <laughs> yep, beautiful. This brother is on fire, by the way. Brother Gabar Ayash, serving Yahweh Shai. Love that brother. <laughs> if you know the truth and sitting on the Lord's money after he suffered three hours of excruciating pain, the Lord is going to fuck you up if you're sitting on this on the Lord's money and he suffered for three excruciating hours and you're sitting on his money. He's going to come back looking for interest on this knowledge that you set on you weak ass men out there. The Lord is going to kill you. He's going to kill you. Let's read that again by that beloved brother. <clears throat> Jeremiah 30 and 23. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with a fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. So these chariots can stir up tornadoes and hurricanes, and they can mix it with fire. And the Lord also is going to use the left hand to administer a do weapon or direct energy weapon and a EMP, EMP, electromagnetic pulse weapon. Remember, the wicked essentially are left hand spirits as well. They're being led by the left hand, guided and directed by left hand demonic spirits or angels. So whenever we think, when you hear the word angel, don't bug out. Don't let the word angel bug you out. It's a messenger, an agent. One of, the, one of the words for angel is an agent or messenger, which is left hand and right hand. That's why we read Isaiah 45 and 7. So the Lord creates both, both sides, left and right. The prophets are right hand side Angels, messengers, pastors, agents. Some people, when they see angel, they bug out. They start thinking of, you know, Hollywood and Disney World. <clears throat> okay, let's read this right here. We'll get ready to close this out. Oh. Mm. Coup de oil, or the commander should have, or an eagle eye, to see the battlefield, what's important, where and when to commit my reserve forces, where to attack, what time to attack, when to commit my resupply. So the key terrain is the cyber domain, where they're pushing the swift global monetary retooling and restructuring. What is SWIFT? Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. 
<laughs> Brother said, I love you too, I'm a wanna buy. If you're grounded in this truth and sincere, then I have an instant connection to you. If you're sincere about this word, if not, it's an ugly image of you. If you're not sincere about this word, a very ugly image of you. For without our dogs, is that not written? For without our dogs. So outside of this doctrine, you're on the level of a grimy dog, an animal. Let's keep going. So this, uh, this gift or the art of warfare, the perfection of that art to learn at one just and determined view the benefits and disadvantages of a country where posts are to be placed. Posts are troop installments where you're going to post guard or security to be and how to act upon the annoyance of the enemy. One of the things that we do in warfare is what? We'll start launching smoke. So the, the adversary is like, oh, they're gonna attack on the left. So we'll start um, shooting smoke canisters of artillery. So the enemy is starting to move all his forces to the left. But guess where we attack? Your right flank. You got duped. You got fooled by the devices of your adversary. You saw all that smoke and you move all your forces to the left and your right side was wide open. You got knocked up out. <laughs> okay. You let the smoke and mirrors fool you. This is a popular tactic in the military. You see, we'll start just all the smoke canisters shooting artillery. So you don't move all your resources, all your mighty men, all your armor and tanks to the left. And you're getting ready to get an open hole in your defensive posture on your right side. <laughs> so we are supposed to be endowed with the gift to see visionaries to be able to see what's important and what's not recognize distractions women getting punched out in new york have you lost your damn mind when all is said and done oh we got to go back up here benefits and disadvantages of a country where posts are to be placed and how to act upon the annoyance of the enemy. This, in a single word, the true meaning of a coup d'etat, without which an officer may commit error of the greatest consequence. So when you swing, you leave yourself out there. When you swing and commit, every boxer knows this. When you swing, then vulnerabilities are exposed when you commit untimely. <clears throat> the phrase increased usage following its use by Carl Clausewitz, the time of war. I had to study Carl Clausewitz, which really, they stole how to fight from the Israelites, the sons of Jacob. So I had to study Carl Clausewitz on war. He says, when all is said and done, it really is the commander's coup d'etat or eagle's eye. His ability to see things simply. Wow. Yahweh said, my yoke is light. To see things simply, keep it simple. And when to identify the whole business of war completely within himself. So the men of the Lord must not get duped or easily derailed off the prophetic king eyesight, eagle's eye. 
identify the whole business of war completely within himself, which is the essence of good generalship. Only if the mind works in a comprehensive fashion which can achieve the freedom it needs to dominate events and not be dominated by them. Wow. So don't allow the tail to wag the dog. Sean Puff Daddy Combs. Fuck him. Okay? Women getting punched in the face in New York. When have a person not been punched in the face around the world in a single day? Or not the bleep out? Shout out on the blood, brother. Azan Ha'amav. And how about Shimmy Havashai? Barakatha Bashim Rakakadash. Another diligent brother, up and coming king and priest. So, not getting distracted by women, men, not being distracted by have you ever been swallowed, TV snakes and Sean Puff Daddy Combs, all mind effery. Okay, I'm trying to keep this mind effery. So don't be mentally sodomized by BS. It's ridiculous. To hell with these people that sold out to the devil. Like Sean Puff Daddy Combs being apprehended. Who gives a damn? And there's wicked Israelites too that are agents of Satan. Talking about the men of the Lord are doing X, Y, and Z with no evidence. No evidence. No witnesses. Riding in on a damn horse. Are you kidding me? Looking like you are running into an MMA style wrestling match, running into the ring. All distractions. These men are agents of their father, the devil. So they are joined unto this beast system. <clears throat> and if your woman talking about the kids got to eat, you better go ahead and get stamped, tagged, and tracked. You ought to tell her to shut her mouth. Shut your mouth. So we're not supposed to be dominated by things that are in opposition to the will and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let's read that again about an eagle's eye or a coup de il. Coup de il. I'll put it in the description box or I will put it there after the lesson, but I did put it in the chat box. Only if the mind works in this comprehensive fashion it can achieve the freedom it needs to dominate events and not be dominated by them. Don't let the tail wag the dog. Okay? I like that word, the freedom of maneuver, or to dominate. Did not Yahawashai say, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So a man of the Lord is not being moved by bullshit. Brother Azan Ha'amath, Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's right. Blinded. Okay? Crippled by distractions. Misled and deceived. Imagine walking at night and because of your lack of visibility, your lack of keen eyesight, your lack of the eagle's eye or coup de ill, you go off a damn cliff. You go off the cliff at night to your death. So blindness leads to the grave. Blindness leads to the grave and destruction because you cannot navigate. You don't know when to commit, when to fall back when to attack, when to resupply, where to resupply, where to commit your reserve to reinforce vulnerabilities. So the commander or the king eagle's eye know when, how, and why. Let's close out here. <clears throat> My <clears throat> voice is very dry tonight. Let's go 
Go to Matthew 6. Matthew 6, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So if your mind is on entertainment, you're going to get mentally sodomized by Sean Puff Daddy Combs. What's going on with him? Are they going to let him out? What is this bail money set to? I wonder how much it's going to cost to let him out. You see how you can get trapped into BS? When did Sean Puff Daddy Combs help the ministry? Prophesy. Warn us about the dangers of said perils to come. But 90% of our mind is being absorbed by this man. That's them bow down to the beast. It's ridiculous. But Jake likes to be entertained. They love it. So our mind should be meditating on getting right with our creator. Doing his will. Serving him to the best of our ability. Not being too comfortable in captivity. Or being ravished by this wicked beast system. We're supposed to be crying out to be delivered daily. Daily crying out from being ravished by this damn devil, the beast. <laughs> Matthew 6 and 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The kingdom, the promises, deliverance. Verse 22. Matthew 6 and 22. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So we're focused on removing the darkness from our temple, from our mind. Then the doctrine is able to flourish, to get brighter. Darkness shrinks. When the light comes on of understanding what the will of the Heavenly Father is, he begins to connect with us. We get internet, if you will. We get connectivity, despite the grid going down. The Lord sends us visions. We're meditating on his will, his will, and his way. We begin to see which way to go, when to get up and leave where to go, who to take, who to link up with. So we get synchronized with him as a serpent dancing to the tune of our charmer, the prophet Yahawashai from the Most High and the men of the Lord. <clears throat> so we're focused on the kingdom and doing his will. <clears throat> Matthew 6 and 22. Let's look up that word, the eye. Comes from the Greek, ophthalmos. Ophthalmos, ophthalmos. The eye, which metaphorically means the mind or the eye of the mind. The faculty of knowing. The what? The faculty of knowing. Where we get the term mental faculties. So we're just focused on Sean Puff Daddy, that wicked bug out ninja, or wicked black women twerking. Then we get derailed, distracted, focus on entertainment, highly weird. Then we're under a spell of darkness, black magic, hip hop videos all day. And haven't fed the, the Lord's sheep. Or watching women twerking all day long. <laughs> the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? So darkness leads to destruction, 
And I gave the analogy of walking at night and then coming across a clip drop of about 500 feet to your death because we get distracted or we have blinders on. We can't see the well-lit path that the scriptures are directing our direction of travel, our azimuth, based on the truth. Repent and be renewed in our way of thinking and meditating on our husband, how to please him, which is our heavenly father, according to the scriptures, how to be renewed, how to become that bride that is the apple of his eye. So to stay as the apple of his eye, we must fear him and move with faith. Who wants an unfaithful bride or an unfaithful woman? No one. Imagine your woman talking about how much she fear another man. Oh, Esau is getting ready to do house raids. World War III is getting ready to break out. They're getting ready to come after us. But we're not balancing that out with the Lord's salvation and deliverance, the chariots of the Lord, his power that cannot be measured, the fact that he created the wicked and the good, the bad, the evil. He made peace and create war. So if we're not balancing that out in faith that he's going to deliver, he's going to be jealous with anger and rage. Just talking about what the devil is going to do. But we're scared. Then that's going to create a jealous rage because we're double-minded, unfaithful. Just imagine how you would feel if your woman is meditating on reverencing, which is fear through worship or a worshiping fear, reverence of another man all day, every day. That's what she's meditating on. You're going to be full of rage. Let's end it there. So our eye or the gateway to our mind and heart should be meditating on moving with faith, not by what we can see, but what we can believe and what we can conceive we can achieve. Deliverance, divine spiritual power, being caught up into the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs, seeing fire rain down from heaven, destroying our enemies that was prophesied. That's going to be done by nuclear fire and the whirlwinds or the chariots of fire, the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs. So if we're fearful and faithful of our husband, then our actions speak loud in what we're doing about it. If we believe, then our actions are showing that we believe and moved by fear and faith, a faithful servant occupied until the Lord returns, occupied in prophecy. <clears throat> That's a labor or occupation or a place of duty. <clears throat> Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kadash. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, honor, and respect to the beloved of the elect of the house of Israel. To the 144,000, to you we say Shalom and Barakatham. Palm Yasharala, rise, Israel, rise. Barakatham, bless you all. So the Lord's bride is supposed to be cleaned up, donning the white gown, the wedding garment, to be delivered renewed, remade, washed, and prepared to meet the bridegroom in the air, Yahweh Shai, and to be caught up into the marriage chambers, the chariots or the Cadillacs of the sky. So if we don't really believe that, we're settled on our leaves, too comfortable in captivity. 
Imagine looking through a window. Your wife had been stolen or kidnapped. You look through the damn window. She's eating some damn Burger King and French fries. Smacking and dipping the French fries in ketchup. And then bows down to her captors. Or the backside in the air. Imagine, let's try to get into the mind of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. We're going to come up short, but let's at least attempt of the rage we would feel to see that through a damn glass. Imagine the rage, pure fury. That's how he views the unfaithful, the two third Israelites. They're bowing down and they're comfortable in this system. They're okay with it. They're compliant and submissive to an adversary, a captor, an oppressor, a kidnapper. Imagine the rage. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. So our power is a jealous power. And he's going to show that in fury, fire, pure destruction, pure destruction. Calm your shawala and abide the bow. We got next, Lord willing. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. To the 144,000, to you we say shalom, barak of thumb, and to the apostles and elders and great millstone. Shalom, barak of thumb. See you on the next lesson. And to the beloved ladies of the hopeful elect of the house of David, to you we say shalom as well. Shalom, Barack Obama. Shalom.